welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well today. So this is my first official video of 2024 and I'm really excited to film this one. Today I'm going to be going over everything that I made in 2023. And honestly, for me, the last year was not a great year for sewing as far as actually having time to sew. I took on a lot of projects last year and started some freelance work as well as having a lot of things going on with my family over the past year. So it just was not a great year as far as actually getting things made and putting them on YouTube but I still managed to get a few pieces made that I really love and I'm excited to show them to you today. I also want to show you a few things that I've been working on that kind of either got put on the back burner or just not finished yet. So I have a couple of those to show you as well, but let me go over everything that I made in 2023. So starting off, we're going back to around this time last year, I made this quilted jacket, which was such a fun project for me. This is made out of a just quilted material that I had in my fabric stash. And then if I unbutton it, you can see it is actually lined with a fuzzy fleece blanket, which I think was so fun to try and repurpose. So I really love the way this one looks and I love the contrasting pockets. And then I also used these vintage leather wrapped buttons to uh, close the front. This is made with a vintage 1950s pattern that I had in my pattern stash. And my only criticism of this project is that I actually want the arms to be a little bit longer. I was really trying to squeeze the cuffs out of the contrasting fabric that I had, and I think I would wear it more if the sleeves were a little bit longer. So one thing I think I might do is just replace the pocket and cuff material because it would be really easy to find something similar and then I think I would get more wear out of it but I love how squishy and cozy this jacket is. Then next up we have this super fun circle skirt. I absolutely love this skirt. I wear it quite a lot and I love the way it fits. This is my own pattern that will be coming eventually, hopefully in the next month or two. And um, I love the way it looks. It has these big patch pockets and then this high waist that's really cinched in and has this wide waistband. This fabric makes me so happy. This is a Rifle Paper Company cotton linen canvas blend with these little daisies all over it. And that always makes me think of You've Got Mail with daisies being the friendliest flower. I took this to London last year and shot photos for the pattern cover um, using this skirt. So I'll pop in a little image of that so you can get a little teaser. But yes, hopefully coming very, very soon now that I have a little bit more time to be focused on sewing things. And then this one's a little bit hard to see on uh, the hanger because it does cross in the front like this. This is a wrap dress. And this one is made with a vintage reprint of a Laura Ashley pattern from the 70s. I really enjoyed working with this pattern because it's kind of unique. The wrap dress itself does not have a waistline, so you cut these long pieces for the front and back. And then it also has this really wide voluminous ruffle at the bottom. I added a little bit of crocheted lace trim to mine and threaded some ribbon through it. I also used the same ribbon to tie the waist and it's just a really pretty light flowy dress. This fabric is a Rifle Paper Company rayon. This one they kindly sent to me and I love their rayon fabric because it's just so soft and fun to work with. It always looks really nice when it's sewn up. And yeah, I really want to wear this one more this spring. I think I finished this one kind of at the end of summer last year, so I didn't get to wear it as much as I would like. And I'm definitely looking forward to pulling this back out this spring season. Then next up, we have one of my favorite dresses, and I think a lot of you guys really liked this one as well. This is made from a McCall's pattern, and I will put the pattern number up on the screen. It's made from this lovely Rifle Paper Company cotton. This one they also sent to me. And I added crocheted lace trim to this one as well on a lot of the seams. And crocheted lace trim was just the thing I was really into this past year. I like that it adds a little bit of extra detail. I put it on the cuffs as well. And this dress is just a really beautiful little classic dress that has pockets and I love the way it fits. I took this one on a couple of trips last year and I really enjoyed wearing it. I remember I took this one to Palm Beach and it was one of my favorite outfits on that trip. Then this next project was so much fun for me to work on. This is a bias cut silk slip and the silk fabric I bought at the fabric warehouses in Dallas when I went to Dallas last year. And I love the fluid drape of this. This is made with a vintage 1930s pattern. I bought a reprint of it from Lady Marlowe Patterns. 
and I really enjoyed the whole process of making this. I was trying to be very, very careful with the bias cut because I can sometimes be a little lazy with that type of thing. And I feel like it really paid off because it just has such a beautiful drape. I specifically made this to go with a vintage 1930s dress that my sister gave me for my birthday last year. It didn't come with a slip and it's this beautiful blue color. So I wanted something to go with it. But I also think this would be so nice if you wanted to make a slip dress. I think it would be really pretty as well with a sweater over the top just as a little flowy dress and I absolutely love the way this one turned out. I'm really glad that I took my time with it and tried to make it as clean as possible. Next up I have a little shirt top. This is actually the same design that the one I'm wearing is made from just with these little straps instead of puffy sleeves and I love making things like this. It's so easy to do and really comfortable and easy to wear. I wore this one so much last year. This is again a Rifle Paper Company fabric. I love the lattice look of this one. I need to trim off a couple little stray threads here and then I added more crocheted lace to this one as well. It's just a really easy to wear cute quick to make top so definitely enjoyed this one and then we have one of my favorite projects of the year. This was my New Year's Eve dress and I just love how this one turned out. It's a little bit of a 1960s style. I used this black velvet fabric from Mood Fabrics as well as this pearl embellished tulle from Joanne. I think it's so, so lovely. And the back has this really fun bow with the v-neck here at the back. This pattern is from Nomi Patterns by Gwen Stella Made on Instagram and I've loved following her account so I really enjoyed working with her pattern and I just think it was so much fun to wear this dress. I wore this for New Year's and then I also took it to New York when I went to see Sweeney Todd earlier in January. So I really enjoyed it for both of those events. And I'm just glad to have a fun little black dress in my wardrobe that I made myself. So that is everything from my wardrobe. I did finish two projects for other people in my life. I finally finished that Knives Out sweater for my dad. So I will pop up some images of that here. I was really pleased that I finally got that done because that was a big undertaking for me. Um, and then I also made my little sister's college graduation dress, which I absolutely loved working on as well. That one was made with a vintage 1970s Laura Ashley pattern, and then actually the same tulle fabric as my New Year's dress, just in cream instead of in black, and she enjoyed wearing it, so it was so much fun to work on that. And then I have a couple of little works in progress I wanna update you on, so let me show you those really quickly. So this past year, I decided to take a little step into trying to do some costuming, and I started making the Breathe dress from Ever After. Now I had planned to finish this for Halloween. That was right around the time that my nephew was born, so I did not end up finishing it. It was just a lot of other things going on, but I did finish the bodice. So here is what it looks like. Um, and I loved, loved, loved working on these really elaborate sleeves with these gauntlets. I did film all of this, so I'm still planning to finish that video. It will just have really old footage in it when I eventually get to adding the skirt on this. Um, but I just had so much fun working on something just totally different not practical at all but very very fun so i'm hoping to finish this one and share it with you let me know when you would like to see that video if that's something you would like to watch at any time or more specifically to halloween with it being a costume very different for me but just so much fun to do and then finally i have a little bit of a knitting work in progress to show you this is a sweater that i'm currently working on and i'm loving how this is looking so far this is a pattern from my favorite things knitwear and it's just a really classic cable knit sweater. I absolutely love this color and it's a color that I want to wear more of. So I'm really enjoying working with it. I'm using two different yarns from Knit Picks. One is a cashmere and then one is a merino silk. So it's very soft. I love the yarn from Knit Picks because it's a little bit more affordable and they have a good selection as well. I'm hoping to finish this one this month. So I'll let you know how it goes. So that is everything that I made and worked on over the last year. I really hope you enjoyed seeing all of it. And I'm hoping that this year I I will get a little bit more accomplished as far as sewing goes because I'm feeling so creatively re-energized going into 2024. If you can't tell from the background, I have recently moved and I have a lot of content coming up about that as well. My first video in that series should be up next week because I've already filmed it. I'm really excited to share that. And I hope you guys will enjoy everything coming up in the next year. If you have any video requests for me, please go ahead and leave those in a comment down below because I would love to know what you would like to see this year just to help me as I make some schedules for the next few months. And yeah, I'm just looking forward to sharing a lot of creativity here on the channel with you. If you're new around here and you have not yet subscribed, you can go ahead and do that by clicking the button down below. I would love to have you along for all of my creative projects this year. Thank you so much for watching and spending your time on my channel and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye.